Okay, quick unboxing of the Bell Alliance new uh, router. I do believe this is wireless. I asked for the uh, E-Tech. Uh, apparently this is one of their best routers they have on the market now. This is the newest router they have on the market for Bell. Uh, you can buy these in stores too. Uh, the one I had was a Speedstream. It was it wasn't doing what it really I wanted to do for gaming and stuff. So this one here apparently was one of their best ones. We'll just take a look at this and see what we have here. So the installation guide. In the box, modem, power supply, splitter, filter, and Ethernet cable. These don't want to see all this information. Okay. So in the box we have the, the router itself. Get back to that. Cable, power supply, and the stand for it. And filters, which I already have a main filter set up. So we need that. Another filter. Another filter. Okay, and then they give you a cable. So, let's take a look in the package here. So this is apparently brand new. And on the front it has a uh, power DSL internet and one, two, three Ethernet ports, four of them. WPS, two antennas on the back, and a USB plug-in too. So I just wanted to show you guys this new router. Now I'll do a review on it after I get it set up and uh, we'll go from there. So let me get this set up and uh, let you know what I think of it. The uh, wireless modem set up by Action Tech. Uh, as you can see it's, uh, it's all on and it's running. Uh, very easy to set up. They give you all the information on the back. I'm not going to show you too much information back there, but uh, they uh, basically everything's set up and ready to go. All you got to do is plug it in and go. Uh, I do change my wireless information for the wireless username and password, and uh, actually to access the uh, modem, I change the password and stuff on that. I recommend that. Uh, do because they do come all preset, and ready to go. Uh, so God knows somebody could get the information somehow and basically crack into it. Chances are, I don't know that'll happen. But anyway, just wanted to give you a heads up on a few things about this this modem. Uh, this WPS button right here <clears throat> basically act activates the WPS mode in it. Uh, WPS is very easy to crack. I just I devise it to leave it off. So basically, the only security features you would want to have in this on is just basically. Uh, maybe your firewall, you, know, you might want to configure that and set it up. Uh, I had this all set up and, and very secure actually. Uh, same as my Apple Airport uh, 
time capsule. <clears throat> but no, I just wanted to compare it actually the two together. If people don't want to go out and spend five hundred dollars for that right there, when you can get this for fairly cheap, like I got this for free through uh, Bell, and uh, it does work really good. It uh, works as good as that Apple. Now the extend the range uh, is the Apple has a better range than this but I cannot really guarantee that for sure I've never really tested that uh, they say the Apple does uh, but basically these this there does seem to work good I mean, it's got two antennas on the back so it should reach out fairly decent so anyways uh, it seems to work fine I'm, I'm pretty happy with it I like it works good and uh, I just basically wanted, you know, to show you guys that, and uh, the setup is a breeze. There's nothing really to show you once you get one. If you buy one, I do recommend buying one. Uh, that when you set it up, you'll find that it's very easy to set up. Just plug it in and go. Uh, you'll learn as you go. I mean, you'll find out what the uh, your uh, port is to get in there. So it's usually one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot one. Easy to set up, like I said. So I just wanted to give you a quick little review on that. And uh, like I said, I like it. I recommended it to anybody. It's a nice little uh, router, wire router. And uh, works fine for me. So anyways, you guys, later.